right guys, so I'm gonna show you how to do a very easy setup and super simple to mow the vlog with the uh, Ace Pro and the Purple Panda uh, mic. So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a um, chin strap, chin mount. Uh, you can get ones that go over the, um, the visor area. I don't recommend it because you can't put the um, visor all the way down, so you do get some wind blowing in through here. But I'll leave a link in the description to everything uh, that you're going to need for this mode of vlogging. So once again, just need a simple chin mount right here. You're going to need the Purple Panda, the Ace Pro, and the Ace Pro mic adapter, which does not come with the Ace Pro. All right, guys, I'll show you how to get this all set up. All right, first and foremost, you're going to get this extremely long cord. That is, I guess, so if you are wanting to clip the uh, mic on your shirt and walk with it and doing some kind of vlogging. Um, right here, you see three rings. One, two, three black rings. That's not going to work for you on the Ace Pro. You need to put this adapter on with the, um, the two ring. So you're simply just going to pop this adapter on here like so. little click and now you can hook up your mic um, all you need to do is put this little um, wind restrictor on there uh, I guess there is a name for them but I'm calling it a wind restrictor and you just want to take this is actually extremely long as well so but you're gonna tuck all this up in your helmet so it will not be in your way so you're just gonna take that and simply pop that into this like that all right guys when we come back we're going to show you how to set up the helmet all right so what you're going to do is you're going to take this long wire and you're just going to unbuckle your helmet and tuck it all back in there like so so the only thing you have left now is your mic and your mic adapter which is going to fit into the ace pro so we'll get all this buckled up and we'll be right back. All right, so you got several different options. A lot of people like to tape it right here, but what I like to do is just simply like so. So it's just sticking out right there. I found that's the best option because I've tried it here and I've tried it here. This is the best way because it gets a good quality of your voice. You're not spitting, talking right into it and it's tucked in there a little bit so it's helping with the wind. All right, so let's get the Ace Pro hooked up. All right, so we got the Ace Pro mic adapter on which is su super simple. All you do is pull the little door off and you just, it's got a USB port. You just pop it right on in there. And it's simple as that. So let's go ahead and get the uh, Ace Pro connected to our helmet. All right, so when connecting this piece to your helmet, always make sure that white piece with the Ace Pro is facing towards the back. Just a little quick tip. All right, we got everything hooked up. We got the Ace Pro mounted and all you gotta do just take your excess and pop in your purple panda like so and you are all set up make sure you just give yourself a little bit of room there not too much where it's flopping so the true test is to go out and try this and get a sound check all right guys we'll be right back all right so we're going to take a little cruise here We're gonna do a mic check. So I'll let you guys know how how good the purple panda works while motor vlogging. And the different speeds right now we're going we're going about 45 
We'll open it up here a little bit. And when I do my video, there's no edits, there's no background reduction noise, there's no wind reduction noise. What you hear on the audio is what you get. All right, we're up to 55, 65, 70. And it's kind of a windy day out. It's about 5, 10 miles an hour. And what you want from a good mic is you want to be able to hear the bike. You want to be able to hear sounds around you. But you don't want that... that I mean, you're going to get a slight wind noise. But nothing like... Because I've tried motor vlogging without the mic adapter on the Insta360 Insta Ace Pro. And you get nothing but wind noise. I mean, you can't even begin to even hear what I'm saying. So the less edits, the better, right? And I always also use this mic with my Insta360 X3. Compatible with that. And I'm talking in somewhat a normal tone right now. I'm not screaming. I'm not hollering. Nothing like that. So of all the different mics I've tried, for me personally, the Purple Panda has been the best as far as sound quality. I don't have to go back in and do, like I said, don't have to do any edits. Uh, it's a relatively inexpensive micro microphone. I think I got it for uh, between $35 and $40. The mic adapter is around 20. The helmet thing is like 10. So you're in it to about $60 if you want to get a um, a really decent motor vlogging setup. now we're going to go on a little faster road speed limit on this road is 55 I do recommend doing your setup on, on, on one of your better helmets closed face helmet I mean I don't know how it would work on an open face helmet I've never tried it so I can't really tell you how that would work out but really what you're looking for is to eliminate 
those loud wind noises because there's nothing more irritating I know when I first started motor vlogging I started first doing YouTube the wind noise I couldn't even stand it I couldn't imagine people watching the video how they felt Insta360 or Purple Panda did not sponsor this video this is all my um, this is my review and how I feel about it but it took a while before I um, did find the right mic I did some research and actually watched some YouTube videos of people saying the Purple Panda was the way to go. I was a little skeptical at first because of the price. But not anymore. And I kind of wanted to do a video that was very basic. Um, easy to follow no you know just easy to follow basic that anybody can do anybody can set up nothing complicated nothing all these different connectors and all these little pieces you have to put on you know it's just purple panda is going to give you everything you need to set up your mode of vlogging with the Insta360 Ace Pro or X3 or X2. But you will need the um, you definitely will need the mic adapters. Alright guys, I hope this little video helped you out so you can make the decision on what to use for motor vlogging I personally uh, stand behind the purple panda and at that price range I think you ought to give it a shot if you like the content I have a lot of uh, mini motor reviews a lot of motor vlogging rides all kinds of reviews and if you think this is the channel for you remember like subscribe and comment below and until next time slow riders motor vlog is out of here <laughs>